Someone's asking, my A1C level went up slightly after menopause for the first time, and all my other numbers are stable, but is I'm now pre-diabetic. Is that a problem? Well, so to me, pre-diabetes is diabetes. And for decades, in fact, people that had borderline blood sugar would say, oh, go eat less sugar and go exercise more and, you know, see me back in a year. I don't like that approach. When you see your doctor, people that are trying to optimize their memory even people that have high 90s fasting blood sugar had lower cognitive function than people in the low 90s and, and 80s when you look at the memory domain. And this was a study out of Germany several years ago. So to me, prediabetes is diabetes. A number that we talk about a lot is called hemoglobin A1CH. And in the United States, the units uh, usually use the, the cutoff of 5.7. And if you're 5.6 or below, you're normal. And if you're between 5.7 and 6.5, you're pre-diabetes. To me, pre-diabetes is diabetes. We need to get a handle on things. Why does someone have diabetes? Is it the diet? Is it the genetics? Is it the belly fat? Is it the low muscle? You got to attack this. And, 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 you know, diabetes is a war. If you want to fast forward visual changes and visual loss, macular degeneration, you know, don't treat your diabetes. Let the blood sugar run high. Things like kidney failure, erectile dysfunction, diabetes high blood pressure, high cholesterol. These are things that I think people don't equate and having borderline numbers can cause badness later, pathology. 20, 30 years of borderline blood sugar, borderline prediabetes to me is diabetes. And, and I think talk to your doctor. There are amazing drugs out there, you know, the GLP-1 drugs. We always want to treat with nutrition first and exercise, number one, number two, and number three. But if you're doing everything right, you're having trouble and your numbers are still high, talk to your doctor. There's diabetes drugs, there's injectables, there's all these sorts of things. You, you can't just take a magic pill and eat whatever you want. That That's that's just your fantasy world. You're still going to have harm from the inflammatory components of the bad food and the sugars and insulin as it you know, causes inflammation and fast forwards amyloid, which is the bad protein that builds up in the brain of a person with Alzheimer's. Prediabetes is diabetes and, and, and it fast forwards. People with diabetes have twice the risk of Alzheimer's disease. So please get that blood sugar under control.